Hi, welcome back. This is an exciting video for me to do because it's about syncopated weaving and the double strung harp is such a great instrument for syncopation. So this is a little bit more advanced for some of you, but if you don't, if you're not ready for it, that's okay. Just enjoy listening and you'll also learn the tune, putting in the, <laughs> putting in the pie is the name of it. So I'll play that first. Weaving, part of the trick is that you do some different rhythms. You're not just doing a straight one, five, eight. So, if let's say I do. Okay, so with my left hand, I'm going. I think that's what I'm doing because I don't really think about it and I don't play hands separately. But it's something like that, a little bit syncopated. So right now, just try doing something. It doesn't have to be exactly like I did with your left hand, starting on a G. Put your harp in the key of G for this. If your harp is just in the key of C and, and no levers, then you can do it on a C. But anyway, uh, start on the tonic of whatever key you're in. Try it. Another thing that's useful is to be able to do recycles in in one hand. I just usually do it in the right hand. The right hand is the most ergonomic hand to do recycles because the harp is is uh, angled to your left, which puts your hands in a better position for that kind of a repetitive motion. So I'm not going to do that with a straight rhythm either. I'm going to do that with. So try that. So then there's the part with finger damping. So you, you do the A chord and you just touch it with your fingers quickly and then you move to place on the next one, which is the B, 158. On the right hand, you're touching the C and going up. So, let's see. And then those are in unison. Then I just came down like that for a gliss because my thumb was hurt. I, <laughs> and so I couldn't do a regular gliss. And then I really liked the sound of that, so. So forth. Thank you. 
So this very, so this very cool move that I call a hook, it's a one five eight one, or it's a recycle that's just partial. So you you end loop, so you go. And the part of the tune you're going to see that in is. So that's uh, three hooks, a G hook, an E minor hook, or E hook, it is E minor, and then a B hook. And then instead of a hook there, uh, I'm just going to do one, five, eight down. So try first doing just a hook or a one, five, eight with a tail, a partial recycle on a G. Now try it on a G, and then an E, and then a B, because that's what you're going to do in the tune. Now do that's easy. That's just uh, offset by three, and you're just echoing. Now do it and add the tail. So now do that again. Now come down to a C and an E. And I don't use the, the terms minor because I want you to just see the strings. And I know that's not totally correct um, music theory wise, but I think it's simpler for videos. So now C and E, so it's offset by three. I did the hook. Then go down to G against B. So that's what you're going to do there, but you're going to do it with uh, syncopation. So. And then instead of a hook there, uh, I'm just going to do one five eight down. but sometimes have a unison pluck with the left and right hand. So I'm doing so there was one where it was unison. My left hand was doing finger two while my right hand was doing the finger four or the first note. So sometimes you do that Feel free to put your own crazy stuff and syncopation of your own type in with this because like the second time I do that part that goes instead I'm going to go I just think it sounds it gives it variety to have it different in different parts of the piece.